I feel refreshed and ready to head out. Q must already be waiting for me at the greenhouse. Good morning, Cherie. Howdy. Came out to enjoy the fresh air. Huh. Q's not here. Maybe he left me a note or something. Wait, is that Q's tool belt? I need to take a closer look to make sure. It's definitely the same tool belt Q always wears. Why would he leave it behind? Maybe Jax or Marco have seen the gardener? I should ask them. What's up, Carla? You're all agitated this morning. After what happened last night? Wouldn't you be worried too? Sure, but I have Janet to lean on when times are tough, and she's got me. What were you doing at the greenhouse anyway? Looking for Q. Any idea where he could be? Can't help you there. Sorry. No worries. I'll ask around some more. Can't help you. I think I saw Margo in the foyer before. Hello there. You're all over the place this morning, Cherie. Were you just looking for Freddy by any chance? Nope. I'm trying to find Q. Have you seen him lately? The gardener? I haven't crossed paths with him today, I'm afraid. Mrs. Bird is an early riser, so I'd ask her. She might be preparing breakfast now. Okay, thanks. I'll look for her downstairs. Mrs. Bird is probably preparing breakfast. You should check in the kitchen. What the heck? Oh God, Mrs. B, stay calm. I'll get you out. Think, Carla, think. Could I use a knife? I need to find a knife. I could try to open the door with a knife. Let's get Mrs. Bird out of the fridge. No time to lose. It worked. Mrs. Bird is free. Oh, bless you, Carla. I thought I was a goner. Did they hurt you? Heavens no. I'm fine. Even though I nearly froze to death. Someone shut me inside this fridge, Carla. I imagine they don't appreciate me snooping in their rooms. 
You think this happened because of the earring? I am so sorry, Mrs. Bird. I just wanted to find out who might have assaulted the Admiral. Oh, I feel horrible. Nonsense. I'll keep on digging. They've messed with the wrong lady. Aren't you worried the killer will come after you? I dealt with worse scum in the 60s, dear. A little scare like this doesn't frighten me. Portia and Cat Sweets are the only ones left, and I'll check them both today. Right. Just promise me you'll be careful. On a different note, have you seen Q today? Oh, yes. He ventured out into the jungle earlier today. Does he leave the mansion grounds often? Only to keep the wildlife at bay. But he never goes this early. I guess I'll have to figure this one out alone. I'm sure you will, dear. Maybe Reuben knows about Q's plans? I should ask him. I should probably go and rest for a bit. Why are you here? Didn't you leave to look for the miraculous plant? Reuben? Are you all right? He's getting worse. The blood transfusion could only help for so long. Aren't you supposed to be looking for the miraculous plant? Yeah, but I can't find you anywhere. That's odd. <coughs> Joaquin doesn't just wander off when he's needed. Doesn't that strike you as suspicious? Well, yes. <coughs> Q wouldn't abandon me like this. Who cares about the gardener? He probably got carried away with some flowers. Carla will find the miraculous on her own, won't you? About that. I have a sketch, but I have no idea where it grows. Portia, you must recall the way to the ruins. We planted some seedlings there. <coughs> Do me a favor and take Carla there, all right? The regular path? It's a full day's hike, Reuben. Actually, Q told me about a jungle clearing near the greenhouse. Do you know about it? That must be the way across the canyon. <coughs> a shortcut. It's worth a shot, Portia. Fine, fine. Just let me see that sketch of the miraculous first. Carla, could you give the Miraculous page to Portia? I think I'm fine without seeing the Miraculous, but Portia should. What are you waiting for? Show me the sketch. Okay, that's unique. Uh, but how exactly are we going to collect its nectar? I'm sure Reuben knows best. Just take the plant to my workshop. You can process the nectar there, <coughs> with a synthesizer. Let's hike before the sun sets, then. And before those nasty clouds open on us. We should take our raincoats just in case. I... didn't bring one. Could I take an umbrella from the veranda? Yeah, do that. I'll be waiting for you in the backyard. Now get moving! Don't just stand around here. We need to go. Carla, please hurry. There's not much time left. Promise me that you'll be careful. The wind really trashed the umbrella, but I should be able to fix it. That'll have to do. I best catch up with Portia now. Hey, 
Is that it? Who's been sneaking through here anyway? Er. Uh... It's a death trap of thorns there. Aren't you going to clear a path for us? It's not that bad. You'll live. Really. Keep taunting me and you won't. Smarty. Just get the shears and clear the way. They should be somewhere here. Fine. Whatever. For pity's sake, just open your eyes. The shears are somewhere here. No way I'm using my hands. I need to cut a way through. If the path is thorn-free, we should get a move on. Well, what are you waiting for? The jungle's right through there. Let's go then, shall we? Jeez, the things I do for that man. It has to be worth it, or you wouldn't be here. You got that right. A genius like him is born only once every century. I... I'd never forgive myself if we failed to save him. But... Every fiber of my being wants to avoid crossing that bridge. Is that really the only way across? The only one that I know of, and we've gone this far now. Let's just get to the other side. But still, the bridge looks like it's about to fall apart. Hmm. All right. Let's do a quick check first. It's better to be safe than sorry. I should start with the front of the bridge. You'd better check it thoroughly, or we both might go down. Not exactly safe to walk through, if you ask me. Maybe there's something in Q's tool belt to help pound this peg in. The tool belt was back in the greenhouse. Maybe a hammer would help? You'd better check it thoroughly, or we both might go down. I should head back into the jungle. That bridge won't fix itself. Let's just hope this will hold. Time to move onward. All right, I guess it won't get better than this, shall we? Watch your step now. Yep, deep breaths. What a sight. Don't get distracted. I told you to. I've got you. You know, for a person with such great advice, you really should listen to yourself more. I... thank you, Carla. No biggie. Whoa, what is this place? The Esperanza ruins. I suppose I owe you one question about them. But first, we have to find where the miraculous plant has taken root. Okay, I'll check on the other side.
well. I found the plant, Portia. What a weird place for it to flourish. There's a whole lot of rubble here. What's it from? This used to be a smuggler's hideout ages ago. Now it's just an abandoned pile of rubble. It escapes me why Reuben was attracted to this particular island. He's got great hopes for it, hasn't he? Enough chit-chat, okay? Let's hurry back before it gets dark. You can synthesize the nectar in the workshop, and I'll make sure Reuben's okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Let's not waste any more time and go back. That's probably the synthesizer. I have to put the Miraculous into it. I need to put the Miraculous into it. Yes! This is it! Hopefully this will help Reuben. I should hurry back to the master suite. Carla, please tell me you synthesized the nectar. Just give it to Cat already. Don't just stand there. Give Dr. Cat the antidote. I need to help Reuben. Please, give me the antidote. Now's the time for that miracle. Come on, Reuben. Don't you dare give up on me now. I... I did my best. Please, anyone but him! <laughs> Reuben, thought you were a goner for a moment. <laughs> Just an ordinary day on Esperanza. I'm just incredibly relieved that you're alive. And you all have my eternal gratitude for it. Especially you, Carla. I'm relieved you're conscious, Reuben. But you really need to regain your strength. Always the sensible one, Cat. You could say I have too much life left in me. Oh, you stop talking already, you silly man. I think he could use some space now, Portia. It's no big deal, really. Ms. Frost is welcome to stay as long as she likes. Hush now. Okay, I'm out. I have some other issues to handle. Get well. We'll talk again, Carla. I need to talk with the Admiral. Maybe he's back in his suite. Carla, thank you. You saved my life. Job well done, Carla. You should be proud. If you're leaving, then just leave. Reuben needs some rest. Oh, 
Carla! I'm so relieved it's only you. Mrs. Burt, what are you doing? Frankly, I'm trying to break into Portia's suite. It's the only one I haven't searched yet. So you've searched the Starship suite already? Is Dr. Cat in the clear? She's innocent, yes. But I sure resented going through her belongings. It seems I'll need another pair of hands here, though. How come? Well, Lucas had started securing the mansion with some innovative locks. But he only got as far as Portia's suite. The poor lad. And now we have to hack into it. How do you even know so much? Lucas would always get so excited about upgrades. He'd tell me all about it. I couldn't pick a lock like this in my old age, Carla. Portia's not leaving Reuben any time soon, but we should hustle. Right, so I need you to shut down Portia's suite from the security room. Just disable it on the computer there, and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, on my way. One more thing, dear. You'll probably need a password for the computer. Lucas often wrote his passwords down and kept them nearby. It'll be somewhere in his office. Got it. Thanks. Better hurry up and unlock the door before Ms. Frost decides to make an appearance. The PC's here. All I need now is the password. If it were me, I'd keep the password somewhere close by the PC. Maybe in sight too. I bet the password will be somewhere close by the PC. I hope I picked the correct sticker. Only one way to find out. Moment of truth. I hope this works. I'm in! Now all that's left is to unlock the door. Portia's suite should be on this list. I need to unlock her suite. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. All right, let's check if Mrs. Bird has broken into the room. Brilliant work there, Carla. It takes two to tango. Do you think the earring's in her room? Would you mind searching, dear? You're clearly more sharp-eyed than I am. I'll keep watch in case Portia decides to show up and find an excuse. No problem. Just give me a shout if anything goes wrong. Will do. Go on. Do some digging in there. I'll stay here on the lookout, dear. Now where would the queen keep her jewelry? That's the earring. I should check with Mrs. Bird immediately. Mrs. Bird, I found the other earring to the pair. Really? Show it to me, dear. Show me the earring you found, dear. Oh my, the earrings match perfectly. Does that 
Does that mean that Portia assaulted the Admiral? It's likely. Portia clearly wanted to keep Wilkinson and the others on the island. Oof. I knew she was capable of mischief. We should keep this under wraps, at least until we find some more leads. I'll see what Q can dig up when he returns. Wait, so Q still hasn't returned from the jungle? No, he hasn't. And I'm starting to worry about him. I don't want to trouble Reuben about it, so I'm hoping Q turns up soon. So do I, Mrs. Bird. So do I. Speaking of the Admiral, he was looking for you at breakfast. Yeah, we have a few unresolved questions. Do you know where he is now? Coming up with a plan B in his suite, I imagine. Thanks again, Mrs. Bird. Take care now. The Admiral was looking for you, dear. Admiral, could we have a word? I hope you've come to report, soldier. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't call me a soldier. I see jokes are not your strong suit, Miss Page. But masking your feelings with irony is yours. So tell me, did you find anything out? Someone used a fuel tank from the boathouse to torch Bessie. Well, I figured it was arson. Things don't just randomly go up in smoke. Seems the storm's upon us now. And it's a chilly one. Let me just shut that window first. Didn't you want to close the window, Miss Page? I should lock the window, too. Much better. So what's your theory about my boat, Miss Page? Well, I think the culprit decided to burn it spontaneously. They smashed the boathouse lock, which shows they didn't have time to find the staff key. Are you implying they panicked? Exactly. I'm guessing you leaving the island wasn't something they wanted to happen. Whoever did the deed must have heard me at Portia's dinner party. I bet it's that clown, Freddy Wolf. You've questioned him already, haven't you? Sure have. He actually told me he'd seen Q and Lucas fighting by the pool. And you believe a drunken fool's ravings? I take it with a grain of salt. Freddy's not the most reliable one here. So did you check his story with the gardener? Yes. I might have accused Q unintentionally. He's been gone in the jungle ever since. That boy knows that wilderness like the back of his hand. I'm sure he'll be fine. Meanwhile, we could examine the greenhouse camera footage. Oh, that's worth a shot. I doubt it'd be scrambled. To the security office, then. We're burning daylight, Miss Page. Let's head to the security office. We'll get to the bottom of this. The cameras don't lie. Hmm. Let's find out who the liar is. I'll rewind the footage to the day and time Lucas died. Moment of truth, Ms. Page. So Q really was here. And Freddy was lying through his teeth again. He must be the one who killed Lucas. 
It seems I underestimated Mr. Wolf. He's a menace that must be stopped. Lucas must have kept a gun as a security measure. Probably in the safe by my feet. Um, surely we'll be fine without a gun. Freddy's unarmed, isn't he? Anticipate the worst, and you'll live to see another day, Ms. Page. Now, there has to be a way to open that safe. Hmm, the logo on the safe. Um, what about it? I'm certain it belongs to a famous security company that specializes in electronic security. There might be software on the computer linked to the safe. Lucky for us, I have access to Lucas's PC. Let me check. I'm waiting, Miss Page. The PC is right there. It will be faster if I use the search instead. Okay, that should do it. Something should have opened. Let's check the safe. There's another lock on the safe, but we should be able to crack this one ourselves. Give me the gun, please. We can still lock it back up. Freddy's just one man. Sometimes it only takes one man. One man who's armed. Just hand me the gun and we'll all be better off. I think it's safer if I keep it, Admiral. Have you gone mad? Maybe, but I feel like you're too personally invested. Could you even pull the trigger? Let's just find Freddy before we play judge, jury, and executioner. I bet he's plotting something nasty in his room. Come on, Miss Page. Let's go and get the bastard. Is Freddy. It's fine. He might still be somewhere in the mansion. He knew we'd figure out the truth eventually. The coward. But you're right. He's surrounded and there aren't many places to hide. And that reminds me. I once walked in on Freddy writing something in a notebook. He hid it from me as if his life depended on it. And now I wonder. Freddy doesn't really have a way with words. Why would he even bother writing? That's exactly what makes it so suspicious, don't you think? I bet that this notebook could be a vital piece of evidence, Carla. Help me look for it, will you? I recall it had a soccer club logo on the front. Of course. I'll search the room. Search for the notebook, Ms. Page. Mr. Wolf must have kept it in his room. Hmm. Why did Freddy bring a newspaper to the island? Are these photos of him and his girlfriend? Geez, his face is scratched off in them. He also kept an article about the accident his girlfriend died in. I should take a photo of this. Did you find anything? Nothing but clothes. Hmm. I thought there would be something of interest in there. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's continue with the search. 
Search for the notebook, Ms. Page. Mr. Wolf must have kept it in his room. That's the one, right? Jackpot, Miss Page. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's all gone. Accident? I don't get it. These are the ravings of a psychopath. We have to find Freddy before he hurts someone else. There's no time to play around. Give me the gun now, Carla. Don't be so rash, Admiral. The notebook mentions it was an accident, doesn't it? God damn it, woman. If anyone else dies on this island, it's on you. I'll handle it. Trust me. Right then. We should tell Reuben what's been happening under his roof. What about the others? Just head upstairs and explain the situation to Reuben. I'll get everyone else. All right, on my way. Go upstairs and let Reuben in on the situation. Reuben, I think we know who murdered Lucas. What? Murdered? I think Freddy's notebook holds the answers you need. I... show it to me, please. This is unexpected. Please give the notebook to Reuben, Carla. Don't just stand there after dropping a bomb like that. Give the notebook to Reuben. Please, hand me the notebook. Uh, are you saying that Mr. Wolf wrote this? Apparently, he'd been scribbling these confessions in his room. Oh, God! Wake me up from this nightmare! Is this the only proof you have, Carla? Remember that pin I gave you? The one I found by the pool? The enamel spade? I don't see how that's relevant. I discovered it was torn out of Freddy's jacket. Probably during a struggle. A fight between Lucas and Freddy? Are you sure? Any other reason why Lucas's knuckles would be bruised? We checked his body with Kat. Carla's right about that one, Reuben. To think I brought a murderer into my home. Where the hell is Freddy now? We couldn't find him. But Admiral Wilkinson has a plan, I bet. The others should be coming in here any moment. Ruben? It's a miracle! Oui, the Navarro bloodline is strong. My dear, dear boy. I knew you'd pull through, buddy. Whoa, friends, be gentle with me. Our weekend has taken another dark turn, I'm afraid. Freddy Wolf seems to have murdered my security guard. <gasps> that sly bastard. What did I tell you? I... I can't believe Wolfie would kill somebody. Wilkinson, any idea where he could be? My gut tells me he's cowering in the jungle. Good lord. Q is still out there somewhere. What if Freddy got to him? Then we should team up and hunt that bastard down. I trust you, Wilkinson. Are you proposing search parties? Indeed. I'd prefer it if Ms. Page led one group to scour the jungle. Why should I lead? You're clearly capable of handling things and people that spin out of control. Meanwhile, the other group will help me search the mansion. I... I can't do this. Sorry, but you'll be better off without me. 
You'll stay with Reuben and Mrs. Bird then. Putting them in harm's way is out of the question. But... No negotiations. Who's going with you then, Carla? I'd prefer if Margot and Dr. Cat came along. The pleasure is all mine, Chérie. As I said before, we sure make a great team. That's settled then. Let's leave no stone unturned, people. But we'll need some light out there, we? Oui? The sun's already setting. I believe Lucas had an electric lantern in case of power outages. That'll do. I'll go search for it in the security room. Come find us in the backyard afterward, then. Stay alert out there. Excellent. I'll stay close to Reuben, where I belong. There's probably an electric lantern in the security room. Once you get the lantern, meet us in the backyard. I knew that bastard was up to no good. He's gonna get what's coming to him. With the three of us, Freddy doesn't stand a chance. Catch Freddy for me, dear. He needs to answer for his actions. I want to believe all of this is just a big misunderstanding. Got it. Marco and Dr. Cat must be waiting for me in the backyard. Perfect timing. This is gonna be nasty. I just hope we'll find Freddy, and soon. Huh? Have they taken shelter in the greenhouse? I've got the lantern. Are you two ready to head out? We'll be drenched in no time. If Wolfie doesn't kill us first, that is. I bet a little bit of rain wouldn't scare the Admiral. Ha! Some would swim across the ocean to track down a criminal. But I'm not him. No, but I assume Q had some raincoats tucked away here. I'll help you look for them, Dr. Cat. There's something sticking out of that box. There might be raincoats inside. There must be raincoats somewhere around here. We won't get far without raincoats. It's heavier than it looks. Maybe I could use the umbrella as a lever to get it open? Found him! I call dibs on the pink one. I think I found enough raincoats for us. Great. Let me check if they're okay. Let Catherine look at the raincoats, chérie. I'd like to inspect the raincoats. Could you pass them over? Hmm, yes. Those will get us through the storm. Let's comb that jungle for Freddy, then. I guess our search officially starts now. Okay, we're good to go. No sign of Freddy here. I doubt he'd be lurking so close to the mansion. We're taking the flimsy bridge route, aren't we? It's okay, I've crossed it before. We'll be fine. Please, lead the way then. I'll be right behind you. We need to head deeper into the jungle. 
I just hope the bridge won't crumble under our feet. You know, I just don't get it. How has Wolfie become our suspect? There's a bunch of evidence pointing to him, and Freddy doesn't have a proper alibi. So young, and yet so malicious. What a shame, really. I've been wondering if Freddy also played a role in poisoning Reuben. Nothing points to Freddy's involvement in that crime, though. We might just be missing his motive, Carla. Jealousy? A cry for attention? Oh, Wolfie. Wolfie. Well, we can't know for sure until we track him down. And where do you suppose we should look? Let's search these ruins thoroughly first. There must be a trail or something. The grass over there looks trampled. If Freddy was here, I'm sure we'll notice something. This has probably been here for a while. So far, nothing's out of the ordinary. I'll keep looking. There's something behind the grass. I can't make out what it is. Some of the grass is still in the way. It looks like... footprints? Someone... No! Two people walked through here! Are you on to something there, Carla? Any idea what we'd find inside that house? A tour to creepy places was never on Ruben's itinerary, no. I bet our answer lies behind that door. And I'll find it. Oh, you shouldn't go there alone, Carla. Let me come with you. It'd be better if you and Dr. Cat kept watch here. We can't let Freddy slip away if he's still in the jungle. Right. Give us a shout if you need us, Carla. We'll be right here if you need us. I'm not sure if going in there alone is the best course of action. Looks like some type of a lock. I should take a closer look at it. Let's see what secrets this house is hiding. I'm not sure if going in there alone is the best course of action. It's pitch black in here. Good thing I brought that lantern. And that's a perfect place to hang it too. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Well, no sign of Freddy here, but I should still look around. Why is the well barred with a pipe? He's in the well! Mon dieu! Oh, Wolfie! Nobody deserves... that. I... I can't handle any more death on this island! The worst part is... Someone left Freddy to die here. Freddy was shut inside the well to drown. The whole setup was intentional. But who would consider Freddy a threat? He got on everyone's nerves. 
But maybe he had actual enemies? The rich and famous are bound to, Karma. But who? All I know is that nobody is safe. Not anymore. Let's see if anything here can tell us the whole story. If you think it's worth the fuss. Anything relevant down that well, Carla? Um, I think when Freddy fell into the well, he hit his head and drowned. This is madness. And honestly, either of you could be the murderer. I thought we'd established a rapport of trust, Miss St. Germain. Don't take this personally, Cherie, but I don't trust anyone unconditionally. Can we just focus on bringing Freddy's body back to the others? Be my guest, Catherine. How do you suggest we pull him out? I reckon there was an old rope outside. It's not much, but it'll hold. I'll go grab it, Dr. Cat. Oh, Freddy, who did this to you? There should be an old rope outside. I just hope the rope will be strong enough. Okay, I've got the rope. Will you lower me into the well? I'll wrap the rope around Freddy, and you two can pull him out. You're really volunteering? Seeing a bloated dead body may be traumatic. Would either of you go down there instead? In the blink of an eye, if only I was a better swimmer. Pass, hard pass. Okay then, Carla. When you're ready, secure the rope on the well. I'm going to be sick, I swear. Whenever you're ready, Carla. Are you sure about this, Carla? Not one bit. Well, let's get the poor guy to the mansion. You two go ahead. I'll take another photo first. Not gonna do much for Wolfie now. Just don't take too long. It's getting dark already. I won't. Don't worry. All right. This shouldn't take too long. Now to head back to the mansion and face the grim news. Oh, God! Please, no! Tell me I didn't! You should work on your aim, miss. Oh, Q. Can you walk? Slowly, but yes. Let's get you back to the mansion then. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Cat, I'm so glad you're here. What happened, Carla? He's barely holding on to his consciousness. No idea. I found him roughed up like this in the jungle. Well, we best hope Q can pull through to tell his tale. He's not critically wounded, but we have to treat the cuts before they're infected. I'll start stitching him up, and you can grab some peroxide from my room. Right away. Can you get the peroxide from my room? The door is locked. It might be from a power search. I can't go back without the peroxide. There must be something I can do. Of course! The electrical panel! Maybe I can reset the door lock. Okay. I hope there's a switch for the door lock. All that's left to do is turn it back on again. I hope it worked. Finally. I've got the peroxide. I should hurry back to Dr. Cat. What's going on? He's too fatigued to stay upright. I hope he hasn't suffered a lethal trauma. Luckily, no. I've only noted a number of cuts and bruises all over his body. The larger wounds suggest that Q must have fallen from a high point. The peroxide will prevent infection, right? I have it on me. That's right. I trust you can disinfect the cuts on Q's legs. Oh, and take some medical plasters off that table to apply afterward. Peroxide first. Medical plaster second. Got it. Hang in there, Q. The medical plasters are on the table. Of course it's empty. I hope the plasters are still in the bag. Okay, that should be enough. Now I can treat the cuts on Q's leg. I need to place both the peroxide and medical plasters by his leg. First, peroxide. Then, medical plasters. I got this. All done. Great job, Carla. Q was lucky to run into you. Still, I can't shake off the feeling that his accident is connected to Freddy. True. The timings and locations of both events are suspiciously similar. And the Navarro mansion is slowly turning into a madhouse. All this is weighing everyone down, and Freddy's death may be the breaking point. Where was Freddy's body moved to? He's down in the walk-in fridge, as you might have guessed. 
Everyone else is also down in the basement fighting about the situation. Given the circumstances, it's not surprising. I'll go check the situation downstairs and let Ruben know that Q is back. I'll be fine here. You should go and check the situation downstairs. Janet, what happened? <laughs> you should leave, Carla. Why are you crying? Is everything all right? <laughs> no, it's horrible. All this arguing and no support. And people were saying nasty things about you. Is that why you're out here? I couldn't handle Jax's hysteria anymore. We had a big fight and, well, here I am. It'll be okay, Janet. You're stronger than you think. I guess I'll try to defuse the situation then. Good luck. Everyone's in the kitchen. Good luck. Oh, look! The mystery girl is here. Huh? Carla, don't mind him. <laughs> Nobody knows what her deal is anyway. Carla's the outcast. She could be the killer. Watch your tongue, Jax. Why are you so protective of her? I asked Carla to come. She's not guilty of anything. Enough! Blaming each other won't get us anywhere. Well, I won't spend another second with the kidder. Oh, give me a break. This ain't over, Reuben. I'll find out the truth. Sooner or later. Uh, looks like all rationality has gone out the window. That's what happens when despair and fear take root. People lose their heads. Can you blame anyone for freaking out? I mean, I can barely hold myself together. That's obvious, but we should still try to contain the situation. Our only hope is to identify the killer before it's too late. I do believe it's someone from our group. There's a possibility it's an outsider, but chances are slim. Truth be told, I also suspect an insider. My biggest worry is that Q will show up dead, just like Freddy. Actually, I found Q in the jungle earlier. He's bruised. But breathing. How did you forget to mention that? Where is he? In the dining hall. Dr. Cat's keeping an eye on him. Let's go check up on him. Let's go. I'd like to hear what Q has to say. After you, Carla. Oh. Q, what happened to him out there? It's still a mystery, Reuben. He's been unconscious for a while now. Is there any way we can bring him around? A bucket of cold water won't do the trick, if that's what you mean. I have some smelling salts in my room. They're potent enough to wake a dead man. Used to work like a charm when someone got knocked out in a fight. Good idea. I'll get them from the castle suite. Miss Page, did you bring the smelling salts yet? I wonder what happened to Q. The smelling salts should wake him up. We'll see if the smelling salts are as strong as the Admiral claims. I think this is what we needed. I should head back.
I've got the smelling salts. Well, what are you waiting for? Give them to me and let's wake the boy. The smelling salts should wake him up. I wonder what happened to Q. Ms. Page, give me the smelling salts. This should wake him up. Welcome back, Q. Sam, give him a moment, please. Mr. Navarro, you're okay. Thanks to Carla's bravery, and your notes are miraculous, no doubt. Gracias. We need to ask you some questions, son. Where did you get these injuries, Q? I was walking across the jungle bridge, and I didn't notice a rotten plank. As it snapped, I just fell through into the canyon. How did you survive such a steep fall? I was lucky enough to fall into the river, but I was knocked out for a while. Why didn't you wait for me, though? You'd accused me of killing my best friend, senorita. Cut the bull. You murdered him, didn't you? Not again. I've already told Carla. I did not kill Lucas. I meant Freddy. Mr. Wolf is dead? Don't act stupid, boy. You and Freddy both went missing in the damn jungle. Yet, here you are, alive and breathing, while Freddy was murdered in cold blood. That's... no! Why would I murder Freddy? He wanted to frame you for Lucas's death. He said you two had argued by the pool. Well, see, Lucas was almost family, and we had our disagreements, but... Save your speech for the judge, boy. Now, Miss Page, tell me where you found Q. Well, I was returning from the jungle and saw someone moving in the foliage. It was dark, and I... I freaked and fired the gun at him. What? I knew you weren't fit to carry a weapon. But it could have been the killer. Carla? You shot a gun? I... Hand over the weapon now, Miss Page. Thankfully, you missed. Otherwise, the situation might have been a lot worse. Mm, it's better if you leave the gun with Samuel. I'm innocent. Give me the gun now. That's what you should have done in the first place. Samuel, this interrogation is becoming excessive. Don't you think? With two dead bodies and an attempt on your life, I think I'm being too liberal. There's no proof. Shouldn't we examine Freddy's body before throwing the blame around? Fine, I'll allow it. But Q isn't leaving my sight until proven innocent. Carla, would you help me in the walk-in fridge? Oh, um, of course. You should go with Catherine. I'm innocent. I won't let Q out of my sight. Freddy's body is in the walk-in fridge. Poor soul. I wasn't fond of him, but this is just plain wrong. Let's check if Freddy was carrying anything that could help us. There's no way around it. We need to search his body. I think there's something in here. Huh. It's a ring. Looks like there's a gem missing in the middle. 
The shape of it looks the same as the sapphire I found before. Maybe it fits? A perfect fit. What's that, Carla? I found a broken ring in one of Freddy's pockets. The strangest thing about it is that I found a gem before that fits perfectly into that ring. The gem must have made its way into the laundry Mrs. Bird was doing. What? Do you think the ring is Freddy's? I doubt it. It looks too narrow to fit his finger, but it might be a lead to finding his killer. Let's see if there's anything else suspicious on Freddy. Empty. There's something in his jeans pocket. Why does Freddy have a lighter with Margot's name on it? Found something in his pocket? What is it? A lighter. I don't remember seeing Freddy smoke. And we already know the boat was torched in a different way. Actually, what's even weirder is that Marco's name is written on the lighter. I think that's what you call a lead. Time for a talk with Margo. Go ahead. I saw Margo walking into the club room while I was treating Q. You're not coming with me? For now, I'll be more useful if I stay behind and try to determine his time of death. You didn't deserve this. Margot's probably having a drink in the club room. Cherie, what brings you here? I found a lighter that might belong to you. Oh? Let me see. Are you going to show me the lighter? Yes. I gave this lighter to Freddy before. Where did you find it? I found it on Freddy. Now, do you know why he needed the lighter? I... I'm not sure. I think he did mention something about his fireplace, though. His fireplace? Thanks, Margot. That's really helpful. Next stop, Freddy's room. I hope you find what you're looking for. Looks like there's something under the ash. Burnt note pieces? What did Freddy try to get rid of? I need a space to reassemble the pieces. This table looks like a good spot. I should put the burnt pieces here. Yes! I did it! I should take a photo of the note. That must be the old lighthouse ahead of the ruins. I gotta follow this lead. Carla! Thank goodness. I was worried about you still out in the jungle. What happened to Mr. Wolf is just grotesque. 
I honestly didn't expect to find Freddy dead. Oh, honey, that was a horrible surprise for us all. And I thought I'd seen enough death in my lifetime. I hope I won't find any more dead bodies. Likewise, dear. But life isn't always kind, and death is only natural. Before Esperanza, I was living in a rough area, driven by crime and bloodshed. I can't believe you came from a place like that. It's all in the past now, but I did my time for the bad choices I made. What kind of life did you lead, exactly? I robbed, assaulted, anything that put food on the table, dear. It was a long, long time ago, but it's a burden I still carry. How did you end up on Esperanza? After prison, a truly wicked man blackmailed me to work for him. My past mistakes were his leverage. Luckily, I met Reuben, who took me away from that life. For that, I can never repay him. From what I keep hearing, Reuben has a good heart. The heart of an angel, you might say. And he certainly sees the best in people. He told me it's not the past that defines us, but the future we strive for. That's one hell of a quote. Thanks for the warm chat, Carla. I couldn't keep my mind off Q's disappearance. Wait, nobody told you? Q is back. I found him wandering in the jungle. Goodness me. Is the poor boy all right? Just a bit bruised. He's with the Admiral, who seems to suspect him of Freddy's murder. What nonsense! I'll find that man and give him a piece of my mind. Well, let's catch up later. I'm following a lead that might just acquit you. Of course, Carla. Just be careful out there. I should investigate the lighthouse before the crime gets pinned on Q. Stay safe, dear. Just my luck, the handle is missing. Without it, I won't be able to open the door. Any chance I'll find the handle lying around nearby? Great, I might be able to get into the lighthouse now. I need to put the door handle in. Just dust and mold down here. That's the whole of Isla Esperanza. Was someone watching the mansion from up here? It's too dark in here. I can barely see a thing. Is that a glow stick? Maybe I can use it. At last, enough light to look around. Let's see what evidence I can find. Is 
That's the wine I brought Friday before. Did he spend the night here? What was he up to? Maybe he left something else behind. This case looks strangely modern. What's it doing up here? Locked. Well, I shouldn't leave it here. It might be important. Actually, I could use the Admiral's expertise on this case. I'd better find him. little buddy someone seems to be in a bad mood been worried sick about you out there. Did you find what you were looking for? Well, I discovered a weird electronic case. I'm hoping the Admiral can identify it. Oh, I've already given him a mouthful for locking Q up. I've learned that the Admiral tends to cling to his own truth. Unless you deliver him verified documents, your testimony is as good as mine. So, where is the Admiral right now? He's in the game room, keeping an eye on the criminal. I'll go have a word with him. Everything will be all right, Mrs. Bird. If you say so, dear. I hope you'll fare better than I did. Voice doubt, Sam. You know why this is happening, Reuben. Let's just hope those files burnt with my boat. Sam, nobody else knows about the project. It's just us two and Portia, all right? Portia, do you really trust her? With my life. Well, I sure as hell doubt her. Don't forget, this is bigger than any of us, Reuben. Whoa. The secret project really stirred up the waters. There must be a clue at the boat wreckage. Now, I have two important leads to follow. Which one first? He keeps passing out. Samuel, can't you hold off on the interrogation? He'll be fine. Ah, uh, Carla, I assume Freddy's examination is finished? Dr. Cat is still inspecting the body, but I wanted to show you something else. I found a suspicious case at the lighthouse, just on the outskirts of the island. The lighthouse? What made you go there? A sketch from Freddy's room led me to it. You're quite the tracker, Ms. Page. Go on then, put the case on the soccer table. I'm glad you managed to find your way back. It's easy to get lost out there, especially at night. Passed out. I'd better leave him to rest. Don't keep us waiting, Ms. Page. Put the case on the soccer table. Hmm. That's an advanced military-grade case with a digital lock. Any idea why it'd be in the lighthouse, Reuben? Not a clue. We stopped work on the lighthouse renovations quite a while ago. Who would have put the case there? I think that whoever killed Freddy must have carried the case up there. I found a burnt note in Freddy's fireplace, which I bet was given to him by the culprit. 
Interesting theory, Ms. Page. But we'd best find a way to open this case first. Well, well. Would you look at that? And this seems to be a hint for the digital lock on the case. Maybe I could crack the code. I'm quite good at puzzles and things. Be my guest. Your chances of opening the case are better than mine. Go on, Miss Page. It's your time to shine. Job well done. Time to see what's inside. I knew you could do it. Impressive. Shall we look at what's inside? Maybe I should open the latches first. Binoculars? Why were they in the lighthouse? Are those binoculars? Show them to me. Binoculars? Odd, to say the least. Show me the binoculars, Ms. Page. Of course, this is military-grade equipment. They don't issue such things to civilians. So it couldn't belong to our guests. All I'm saying is a regular person would have to go through lots of trouble and paperwork. But you have the right clearance for such equipment, don't you? Considering every possibility, Miss Page, that's why I like you. But you're wrong to assume that I had anything to do with this. However, given enough time, I may be able to trace the origin of these binoculars. Yes. That could be a breakthrough. Uh, let's agree to pursue this tomorrow, Admiral. We're all too tired for an all-nighter. Fair enough, but I'll stay to keep an eye on Q. Could we speak in private before I go, Reuben? It's important. I don't doubt it, Carla. But forgive me, my head really is pounding. Okay, I'll catch up with you tomorrow then. Sleep tight. Hopefully, I'll find more answers at the boat wreckage. We'll talk more tomorrow. Get some rest, Miss Page. This file looks important. I need to take a proper look at it out of the water. So this must be the project they were talking about. Not much left after the fire. Gene modification? That's big. What is Reuben really working on here? It's a lot to take in. I think I need to sleep on it. Carla? What are you doing here? Just clearing my head. You? I... I just wanted some time alone, away from Jax. He's been difficult lately. And I haven't even told him about my feelings for Reuben yet. Why? Are you afraid of what he might do? No, not exactly. I don't want to hurt Jax. He's been through a lot already. I'll confess to him. I will. I just need a little more time. 
Are you sure you're sleeping enough, Carla? You look tired. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But you're right, I should get some rest. Well, sleep tight. I'll stay here for a while longer. Good night, Janet. I should just go to bed and get this day over with. Why couldn't this have been a normal weekend getaway?